Alright, so I watched an anime recently called Dead Demon Dead Dead Destruction, and yeah, it's exactly as stupid as it sounds of a name. What a strange, strange tri trip it has been. I can imagine myself coming back to this one time and again in the future, as it makes a good example for a lot of different topics. As to how good it is, though, well, the quality is top-notch. The story is both dark and uh, not, <clears throat> and the characters are realistic. I suppose my problem is that the epilogue wasn't given enough time to fully set in. A couple, or maybe five or so episodes more, and it would have been a lot more impactful. And then there's an ending where everything is tied up with a neat little bow, somewhat muting an impact of absolutely everything what has happened thus far. Right, so I recommend it. It's really good, but I can't help but feel what it misses the mark at the end. Not terrible there, but could have been as good as the rest, instead of... this. What is it about? Aliens are invading. Or so it would seem. A giant flying saucer is perched above Tokyo for years. Any attempts to communicate have been met with static. Meanwhile, people go about their daily lives as if nothing is happening. But after a long period of trepidation and silence, things are starting to change. And not for the better. What did I enjoy? It's actually a fairly complicated situation, however, strangely enough, the focus of the story is much more on the people than it is on the conflict of the whole idea of having a giant spaceship floating, right freaking there. All of it is still there, and everyone deals with it differently, but the overall idea is simple, and that is what's so fascinating. As it is very realistic in its depiction of what would happen. People are surprisingly adaptable, and there is only so long that one would worry about an imminent demise. Days, weeks, months, longer for some, but eventually everyone moves on, no matter how crazy it may seem. This particular kind of approach is unique. In addition, the approach to how people in charge see it is another can of worms. It makes me think of a bunch of different conflicts out there. At the end of the day, shutting up and laying down your arms never seems like an option, does it? It would have been easy to write a naive way and have people and aliens cooperate and live happily ever after, and instead it's... this. Sometimes I too wish the world would just end, Kadode. Also, a bit of an uncomfortable thing to talk about, but there is other... Um, stuff. For example, a boy who likes to dress like a girl and wear a wig. I'm not gonna put any labels out there. But that character also shows kind of a badass side at the end, by the way. Also, there is a whole romance about between Kadode and the teacher, which I assume happens out there, but it's strongly frowned upon. Thing is, though, neither of those things are shown to be some sort of badge of honor, and both of them are very realistic in what happens, it's just not the kind of thing which happens in media that often. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it's implied that everyone is weirded out by both of these things, but as friends, Ontan supports Kadode, and the rest supports Makoto. And that's the thing which I want to praise. Although, again, I still think it's weird for a teacher to date a student. Even the one who graduated. Call me a bigot if you want, but... That's weird to me. I guess there are also other things to praise, but they are a bit more difficult to mention. Like pacing. I can't exactly say what is done right here, but it feels like the episodes are densely packed. At no point I wanted to skip a moment or that anything drags on. Hell, I'd say what it's not long enough. Again, the end is too short. Also episode 0. I want more of that. 0 and 17 connect, but the whole thing was a bit too quick and abrupt. I wanted the more uh, apocalyptic hellscape angle as well. And the collapse, and the initial impact. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to show, and there was just not enough. Characters are also done well, but not much to say there. The deaths were impactful, the brutality was disgusting. The... I just be listing everything here. Yeah, okay, I liked pretty much everything, but wanted it to be longer because... And because it wasn't, I was disappointed. There simply isn't enough at the end, and after the insane amount of build-up. I just expected more. I think it's definitely a great anime, and I love the fact that it doesn't shy away from pretty much any subject, all the while also seemingly not glorifying anything other than being a good human being. Good friends are hard to come by, and even as the world is ending, they had each other. Also, a special shout out to a bro. Can't imagine a cooler Hikikamori. Not necessarily a badass, but someday I wish I could have half as much pride in what I do. So, yeah, check it out, and don't confuse it with Dan Dadan, like me. Two have nothing in common, other than really stupid names. I don't know what that trend is about, seriously.